Um, now, some scientists uh, say that when dinosaurs were wiped off the face of the Earth by their huge meteor 66 million years ago, their species were already in decline. That's what we thought. A new study suggests that they may have actually been thriving, and if the asteroid had not hit, dinosaurs would have continued to dominate the planet. Andy Moore has this report. An asteroid the size of the Isle of Wight hurtling towards the Earth at 20 times the speed of a bullet. This is what scientists believe caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. But there's disagreement about what was happening before that. Some scientists say dinosaurs were already in decline and the asteroid was the final nail in their coffin. But this new study says the dinosaurs were thriving and if it wasn't for the asteroid, the Earth might be a very different place. A lot of studies in the past have had the idea that the dinosaurs would have died out anyway if the meteorite hadn't have hit the Earth. But what our study has shown is that that wasn't the case and that had the meteorite not hit the Earth, the dinosaurs probably would have done really well, which could led, have led to a world where the mammals didn't evolve uh, as, as much as they have and it could have led to a world in which we don't exist. The scientists in this latest study examined various dinosaur family trees to come to their conclusion. They used statistical modelling to fill in gaps in the fossil record. Dinosaurs ruled the Earth for tens of millions of years, and if it hadn't been for a chance encounter with some interplanetary debris, they might have carried on ruling the Earth for millions more. Andy Moore, BBC News. Well, let's get a bit more on this from dinosaur expert uh, Professor Phil Manning from the University of Manchester. Phil, lovely to have you on the programme. Before we Good chat morning. to you about uh, that story, Look what, the shelves behind you, they're some of the finest lockdown shelves we've seen. What have we got there? <laughs> uh, these are some of my sort of um, bits and bobs that I've collected in my travels around the world whilst digging up dinosaurs. So, uh, um, a bit of a diplodocus, well, a sauropod skull, never found an actual skull of Diplodocus, that's a long story. Um, this one's Gastonia, this is a rather funky looking uh, armour-plated dinosaur, and there's all sorts of, well, ever, ooh, there's a T-Rex toe, if you ever fancied a T-Rex toe. If, you, uh, if you're ever doing a pedicure on someone like this, run, would be my advice. <laughs> but it's, uh, they're nice creatures. But yeah, there's all sorts of wonderful things to play with. Um, Keeps me in tune, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us about this news. So, so the news is that dinosaurs were not in decline. So what would have happened if the asteroid had not hit? Well, th this great study by the Natural History Museum in London and the folks at the University of Bath have really sort of fine-tuned what's happening at the end of the Cretaceous, just before the the meteorite hit Earth. Now, the thing is, we've, there's been multiple people saying, oh, it was a bad sign for dinosaurs, they were quite miserable already. And um, some people subscribe to that. But, and so there might have already been that sort of slow decline and along comes an asteroid, spoils the day. But this study supports a few other earlier studies which say, no, dinosaurs were going great guns. In fact, they were still diversifying, evolving into new forms. So it means they would have probably kept on going. So it would have had huge implications for our species. Um, I don't think I'd be talking to you today. Um, there might be some scaly form of a creature with feathers staring down the, the camera at you at this moment. Disappointed you're not dressed up for us, Phil. I've got to tell you that. Uh, well, it did come to mind. It did come, well, you must remember the dinosaurs, they didn't all become extinct. And the study beautifully says this. It's saying, look, non-avian dinosaurs. Because the, the dinosaurs with feathers, birds, are highly successful. There's 10,000 species around the planet today. So really, it's one of the mistaken extinctions. But that impact event at the end of the Cretaceous really did spoil it. Yeah, we got... Oh, you think of objects. This is this is a meteorite. This is this is a beautiful ooh, nickel iron meteorite. It weighs about a, a pound. Wow. The one that smashed into the Earth 65 million years ago was about eight to ten miles across. And when that hit the Earth, that really was the straw that broke the dinosaurs back. Wow. So <laughs> on that note. Um, and, <laughs> We're going to have to leave it. We can I mean... learn from this, though. We can learn so much by studying this. Because if we don't study extinctions, how can we actually realise we're actually wading through one ourselves? Wow, this is a big really thought, important. Professor. This is a big yes. thought. We're we, gonna... need more, we need more time. We'll have, we'll have to, to get you back it. on, Phil. We'll come back to you in your shelves. But, but for now, we'll leave you with your diplodocus, OK? Yeah. Thank you. We'll come back Thank to you. you. I've really enjoyed that chat.